record. Here goes the encoder. And I will not play your song prematurely this time. And you're good to go. <laughs> hey, Cigs. Hey, Chels. Um, I don't know about you, Chels, but America, does anyone else feel like Halloween is unnecessary this year? <gasps> Listen, I've been wearing a mask and eating candy for seven months straight. I don't need a day dedicated just to that. I'm being the Tiger King. We're doing this. Oh, Lord in heaven, Carol Baskin and her husband. Ah! <laughs> Play that track, Dave. I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. Why? You're so fabulous. Yeah, I'm single. Daisy. Chelsea. It's episode 223. Oh, 223. I feel like that signifies something, but I don't know what. I mean, 23 was Michael Jordan's number. Hey! And currently LeBron's number. Hey! He's on the championship winning. Sports! <laughs> you always say that sports ball. I'm like, would you stop it? Just stop it! It's not a demographic. The people who listen don't care. See, and then you when care? you get to episode 227, you both have to talk like Jack A for the entire episode. I feel like that's the same thing. <laughs> oh, no, I don't get it, but I want to get it. You Jack never it? saw the show 227? No! Oh! But still, I never saw it, but now I know what you're talking about. Oh! Yes, we can talk like Jackie Harry. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a whole bunch of that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> We're single. Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm Chelsea. This is Reasons Why I'm Single. How are you, America? Thanks for checking us out. Yeah. I hope you all had a, if you're listening afterwards, a fabulous uh, Halloween. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I don't even know what that was. That was like an owl, but I made the, the wolf face. Right. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you're but if you're listening live for those of you who are listening afterwards you get a sneak peek of the week ahead uh show if you check us out on facebook live at reasons why i'm single yes so you can always see what uh sarcastic things are running through our minds if you go to our instagram which is at rwis podcast which is the same did i hesitate i did dramatic pause, dramatic pause. <laughs> the drama. and it's the same handle as our twitter rwis podcast <laughs> Let me just tell Facebook real quick. We're on here. Oh my gosh, Stacey, yeah. how was your week? Huh, it's been, first of all, we're recording on a Wednesday right now. And all of 2020, ever since we've been on lockdown, I get my Wednesdays and my Fridays mixed up. So for whatever reason, Tuesday nights, I'm like staying up late for whatever reason, like cool is about to be like Saturday tomorrow. And then like 12, 31 in the morning will hit. And I'll be like, no, tomorrow's definitely Wednesday. This is a bad decision. I did, I've been doing this for months now, which is ridiculous. But um, this week has been okay. It's been okay. Um, I feel some type of way about it being daylight savings time this coming weekend. And it's like, do I really need an extra hour of this stuff? Do I? Do I? But also, do you remember, do you remember when we were young and like that was the best night to go out? Cause it's like, we got an extra hour, y'all. Bars are open to three, cause technically it's two now. I remember it. I mean, I have to I have to work the bar. Oh. Days, so yeah. <laughs> do they pay you for an extra hour? They do, of course they do. So when I worked at this one company, they did not, and I worked midnights, so we did not get paid an extra hour. Oh yeah, but also legalities I, yes but but um so with the head of hr in that department number one i got written up me me <laughs> i got written up for defacing company property what did i do no one cares about night shifts birthdays but they make a cake for everyone else on day shift first of all if you're leaving me out of decisions that involve cake already I'm fuming. You don't do that to me and my taste buds and my body. How dare you? How dare you? You don't take Halloween away from her. You don't take cake away from me. That's true. Unless then people die. And it's just like, well, we'll be accepting Jesus. So anyways, <laughs> happy Halloween. So, <laughs> so 
Um, I would, for our team on the midnight shift, I would figure out when their birthdays were, or honestly, I would just ask them and they would tell me. And then I would make sure to like put a little annoying confetti on their desk and I would get them like a cake so that we could all share. Or if they only like chocolate or whatever, then I would just get something that we could all share. So then we would just have like our little powwow. So I was told that was bad. I was like, whatever, like I, I clean it up anyways. Like I'm not going to make anyone else clean up the mess. So I had to work New Year's Eve, fun. So we're all there New Year's Eve. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it up. So I bought the little plastic champagne flutes, got some seven up cause it's extra bubbly. So we all had a nice little faux champagne toast at New Year's Eve. And then we decorated with like streamers and stuff. And so we all like told like really cool stories because it was a very quiet night because it was New Year's Eve. And so the next day, um, what? Cause my shift was 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So oh. I, so I leave and then the next oh, no. day, the next afternoon when I get up and it's time for my shift, this email has gone out to the whole company saying you will not deface company property. We know who did this. And I'm like, Woo! <laughs> they're like, you will be reprimanded for doing this all because I forgot to take down the streamers, but they're like, oh, this is so fun. We should keep it up. Cool. Keep it up. If I clean up everything else got written up. Don't worry. It gets even juicier because when what was it i got paid whatever it was i got paid and someone was just like oh we get paid i'm like oh yeah get them what they're like get them 40 hours and i was like more like 37 and a half because we get 30 minutes taken out for lunch and they said no you don't i said yeah we do been doing that for a month now he's like uh no because you're in operations and you're not allowed to leave your desk for lunch so you get paid for that period i said i've not been getting paid that amount oh for a year <laughs> very loud sorry i'm just i'm just being honest so then i took it to hr and hr was just like well we can fix it i was like well do i get that money back we're like well no because it's already done I was well like, that's also legalities thank you so legalities. then so then two weeks goes by get paid again they're still taking that money out so then i go above hr's head be to the legal team to hr our corporate all right hr r so then go to them. I was like, Hey, this is what happened. They told me I'm not allowed to get the money back, but at least can we make this like good going forward? This lawyer came back in less than 30 minutes. Like this is wrong. You're getting all of your money back. You should not have had to go through this in the beginning. This is unacceptable. You will be getting a check. So then she cut me those Check. Yeah, so I, check. so I was training in Florida at the time. So a friend came to visit me and I was like, she was like, okay, you want to go to Disney or Universal? She's like, oh, I only have money for Disney. I'm like, cool. I'm paying for Universal. I just got money. <laughs> so then of course being a jerk, I saw the HR person who was mean to me, who wrote me up and then denied me this money. So I, we're passing each other in the hallway. I'm like, I just want to thank you so much for making sure that I got paid. Like I really appreciate it. I know you have so much going on right now, but just thank you so much for like giving me that money back. Like that's so awesome that that was the right thing to do. You got it. Done. You had a petty party? Sure did. <laughs> petty cake, make a shake. <laughs> the more you know. Single. Stacey, are you being anything for Halloween? So here's the thing. Oh, um, actually, should we take care of some business first? We can absolutely take care of business. Oh, yeah. All right. It's time for the Fake Name Series of the Day. So the Fake Name Series of the Day is what we use to save the shame. So instead of using people's real names, we use names that are from the fake name series of the day to hide their identities. But if they heard these stories, they know who they are. are. Are did they drive a big car? Car. I was gonna get real morbid with it because it's Halloween, but then I cut myself off. I like it. Because boundaries. Are we using the boundaries. same as last week? We are. Shells. What's it called? Uh, raised by wolves <laughs> and not robot babies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I found a new detailed description. Uh, raised by wolves centers on two android androids. I can read too. Not iPhones. <laughs> Father and mother tasked with raising human children on Kepler 22b after the earth was destroyed oh by a great war i didn't read beyond the first sentence as the burgeoning colony of humans threatens to be torn apart by religious differences the androids learn that controlling the beliefs of the humans is a treacherous and difficult task wow if that's not what's happening here 
<laughs> wear a mask. No! <laughs> Humans, we're great. <laughs> we're great. They're great. Um, so Stacy, yes. let me tell you. Oh, wait, no. What was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh. oh, that's right. You asked me if I was being anything for Halloween. Oh, like, I love when we got there. <laughs> we made, we went on a journey. Know. I don't know either. We were right before the destination. We we're like, do we want to go in? I think it might be locked. Don't check. Okay. <laughs> so you asked me if I was being anything for Halloween. Yes. I don't know. Here's the thing, though, America. <laughs> so, nice sneaky way. <laughs> so this, this is my dear friend, right? And are we real life friends? No, oh, we for real friends. Friends, friends till the end. Peas and carrots, but I don't like either. <laughs> <laughs> Fries and ketchup. Do you like ketchup? I do. Okay, good. I don't like mayo, but I like ketchup. Nuggets and ranch. By the way, Burger King, you'll be getting an angry letter from me. What? What heck? You shorted us on nuggets and ranch and ketchup. <sighs> Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Uh, First of all, thank you, God, for first world problems. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, Chelsea asked me if I was being anything for Halloween. Here's the thing. Chelsea does this, she does this hocus pocus party with a, a friend of the show, Juliana, hey. and um, our mutual friend, Samantha. Hey. And those are real names because we're real friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are too. You're going to love me. <laughs> so, um. Uh, this is this year's the seventh annual um year what we do it's very basic but i enjoy it we uh we dress up as witches <laughs> and then we go to a house and it used to be a seven nine house down my ex-boyfriend's house but uh <laughs> um if so i could just walk home later but, but they moved <laughs> that's funny but also your house is beautiful yeah, I'm proud of you and all that <laughs> Um, in episode 223, I'm going to pretend like I'm not mad that I have to stay there and not walk home. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Also, this is very plush. Thank you. So, um, and then we, wa we watch Hocus Pocus. Um, and that's the only movie we watch the whole night. We watch it four to five times and there's a drinking game. So really by like watch three and a half we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you're gone. Yeah. Oh. Hey girl, y'all. <laughs> girl, y'all. Um, the funny thing is, is like, so like normally, um, I need a name, Stacey. Are you ready? Um, Cass oh, a girl. Cassia. Cassia. Um, it's Cassia's house. And uh, maybe two years ago, three years ago, she was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go step outside because I, I was smoking at that point. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go smoke outside and step outside and smoke. And she goes, no, you can do it in my house. And I was like, I literally like turned into the mom to the mom. And I was like, I'm absolutely not smoking in your house. Like, <laughs> right? You don't want your pillow staying with this? And I was like, it'll stay. And she goes, well, I think it's fine. And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> right? Actually. <laughs> so, um, but no, so this year, because if you guys listen to the show, you know that Stacy has made it very vocal opinion when I brought this party up last year that she has never been invited. And she wants to be the thing is is that the initial listen if it were at my house stacy would be there because i make her and <laughs> it's true it's so true it's literally just because this party is not at my house um that stacy has never been i'm invited. a terrible person i'm sorry and she's like so i want to come to this so then like the invite went out and then i added her to the invite and i'm like cool but like she made such a stink about it now she has to oh yeah i have to even if there's a pandemic like no matter what I'm going to be there. So fortunately is it's just a small group of smart yes. people. And we're wearing masks. We're doing the whole thing right. It's it's going to be fun. So I'm reading through this invite because I'm like, dang it, Stacy, you made such a big stink about this. Your behind has to be there. <laughs> so I'm going through the invite. I'm just like, okay, like it's a little bit of a drive. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be there. Then it's like, okay, like everyone brings something. I'm like, cool. I'm going to get a pizza because that's like what pizza, we like to do. And I'm going to be there. And then it says, you have to wear a costume. I was like, oh! So I was like, oh, I have to wear a costume. Because I said I was going to be there. And I'm not going to be a jerk that shows up and is just like, well, I'm here. So well, even though I made a big stink about it. Because I do want to go on a kid's play less when I watch Hocus Pocus. So I have to wear a costume. So she's like, are you going to wear a costume? I'm like, well, I have to wear a costume. Where are you going to be? 
I'm don't, I'm going to surprise you. We'll see what happens. So, well, and then to which I said, I normally go all out and have like a corset on and everything, but I got this hoodie cape. Mm -hmm. You heard that right. Come through. And it has Winifred's hair and it says sisters on it. And then I have these um, Capri workout leggings and they, it has the vacuum, the broom and the mop down the leg and on the other side it says hocus pocus and I was like yeah so I'm gonna be a comfy witch <laughs> listen if you have to be I'm one is that on. the one you want to be I'm just saying. On. so I need to come in a costume and next week you will learn what she was right could be just like something very comfortable probably will be I don't know I don't know You'll have to and then the next day I get to be Joe Exotic <laughs> My bar is having a karaoke on mm -hmm. on Halloween, and which you guys, if you're here listening to this live, it's at Muldoon's in Rochester. Feel free to come. There's gonna be drink specials, costume cost costume contest where I get to decide who wins. It's probably my favorite part of it. <laughs> Hilarious! And if you're listening live, you heard us last week. Don't forget to go to that awesome event that we talked about last week. This is why I'm not good because I'm getting older and I forget things. We forget things. Hooray, but don't forget to go to the My Turn Now Showcase in Detroit. Hey, also a costume contest, also cash prizes. Ah! Twerk it out, girls. <laughs> twerk it out, kick, kick, come on, twerk it out. Um, but yeah, so um, so let me tell you what, what happened this week. So what happened? I host karaoke hey. last Saturday was slammed it was so busy it was to the point where i was like we would get shut down if someone came in i think like maybe not Whoa. literally but there were just more people that i've seen since we've been open so right. it was like oh this feels weird and new for real <laughs> look at all the people look at <laughs> they're everywhere right like isn't it from something Probably. Okay. <laughs> people. I was hoping people who need people. Um, that's just rubbing. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what show? Nope. That's fine. Um, it's Barbara Streisand. Oh. Are the luckiest people. Not trying to be Barbara. She's like butter. <laughs> I'm like parking. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly butter, but I can pass. <laughs> Is parking a butter? Is it is parking butter? No, it's like spreadable. So it's gotta be like margarine. Is, par is parquet a thing? Oh, it's a brand. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what's parquet? Right, parquet. <laughs> Should have said country crock. They still make country crock. I can't believe it's not butter. That's what I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's the joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was planning for, so, okay, so there's this guy. <gasps> he comes to the barn. Uh, and his friend come to the barn. His name is Marcus. Sure is. Ding. His name is Marcus. What's Marcus's best friend's name? Hunter. Marcus and Hunter. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's let's describe them both and see if I actually remember who's who. Okay. All right, Hunter. Marcus is the guy that I like. Let's go with that. Oh, so. Marky Marcus. <laughs> He's got that good vibration. Come on, come on. Feel it, He's feel it. Sweet sensation. Feel the vibration. <laughs> 90s were great to us. Thank you, Marky Mark. Thank you, Marky Mark. Honestly, I love the way that song ends. It's my yeah. favorite. You know how I love like the boom, yes. like random stupid yes. things? That's another one. Stacey doesn't want the beat to drop. <laughs> Stacey wants the beat to show up and immediately leave. Yes! And so I'm like, oh! Like, wait for it. Wait for the wait for the special beat. There, what was it? I was thinking Janet Jackson's Escapade the other day. Uh, Good, thank you, because it's amazing. And my favorite part is where she goes, come on! <laughs> that face you make when you impersonate <laughs> Janet. We are sorry, Janet. Obviously. I wasn't impersonating her, but she makes it really like face <gasps> like. <"Ugh." laughs> and so it's in. Then it goes into the chorus. Eh, Scott. You hey, know what's gonna okay. happen? Because we're like right at the middle of it. No, we're like right in the beginning-ish. That's gonna end up being the face that's like the frozen. Right. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> What, what happened? She's so wrinkled and veiny. <laughs> Listen, I love. Are they both cross-eyed? Any, anyway, Marcus and Hunter. Hunter. So, what does Marcus look like? Okay, so Marcus Marky is Marcus. <laughs> Marcus is very my type. He's um he's probably like five nine five ten. He has really nice posture. Ooh! Um, he has a very short haircut and a nice jaw. 
and okay. and and he can and he can sing and he can sing he can't just sing like by himself he can sing and then hold a harmony so he so then marcus is now marcus likes to sing uh like metal stuff like singing metal Ooh. and he'll sing like leads for his friend hunter when hunter wants to sing a harmony um yeah. hunter appreciates that i can also hold a harmony now hunter is i don't know if i told you guys about him when he was singing and then like my one friend ate a girl name. I'm going to fly through some names today. That's great. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with Vita. Vita. Ding. Vita was there one night. Hunter was singing. And um, no, Hunter and I sang the Whiskey Love. I know I've talked about this on the show. Because it's like a bummer song. And I started to sing it. And Stacy got sad. We're going to do this again. For those of you who weren't there. Um, it's the part where like, it's the song go... Um, she put that bottle to her head and pulled the trigger. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember how sad it was. It's it's a, such a sad, but the harmonies, you guys, it's mm, mm, to the point where like, like butter. It, yeah, literally, like actual real butter, worth the calories and everything. And <laughs> so I, so okay, so now let me describe Hunter. So that happened. And Hunter is a little bit shorter than Marcus, but they're basically the same height. And Are they related or just friends? No, they're just friends. Yeah. And um, he has he has long, curly hair, and I mean it's a little less curly than yours. Ooh. Um, and it's like in a ponytail. Um, Ooh. And he's Jewish, and and. <laughs> love it i love them and right exactly mazel like and <laughs> um but like he's just not necessarily my type he's got brown hair he's got he's like i he's, i like him i like him looking like they might go to surfing i don't know so <laughs> Ooh, interesting i'm used to lumberjacks and i'm like oh i just surf for woodwork right so just outdoorsy types. Listen, I um, dated the guy that dumped me because I couldn't swim, Chelsea. It was in my dreams. Who's in her dreams? <laughs> Who's in her dreams? Oh, you Listen, can't swim. If you're watching, give us a like. We'll give you a shout out. You know how that goes. Hey. Hey. So um, so anyway, so so Hunter is not really my type, but Hunter's voice with the harmonies. So I walked over to Vita. Yes. Wow, we're, Ding. we're rolling away. Good job. Doing so great. I went over to Vita and I was like, tell me if I'm wrong or if this is literally just because he has such a good singing voice and he can hold a harmony because that's like not an easy thing that's so you can be a good singer you can be able to hold a pitch but if somebody sits right next to you and sings a different note and more often than not whoever's the stronger singer is going to keep the note and the other person will like to fall back so to actually get two people sitting there singing harmonies is extremely difficult interesting mm -hmm. I never knew that so um yeah it's like it's it's uh, so hot. So <laughs> I gonna say it's scientific. No, like it's so hot. So hot. So <laughs> um so, so I walked over to Vita and I was like, hey, am I crazy? Or is like is it just the singing? Or is like did that make Hunter hotter? <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. I'm not a she's like, he's one of my people, and I'm not normally attracted to my people. And I would, I would let him sit on that face. <laughs> or I would sit on that face. That's what she said. Oh, my God. And I, and I was like, oh, my word. <laughs> <It> just... <laughs> but um, <laughs> she would give him cake. <laughs> yeah. OK. This is the whole thing we found out today. So <laughs> she found out today. Um, so Stacey made a comment because Chelsea's got a little bit of like, Ch -ch 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 changing in her life going on right now and i'm trying to be adaptable and i don't like change nobody likes change nobody does like you you really have to just deal with it and keep moving so um i'm trying to deal i'm doing with i'm doing she's been doing great actually <sighs> there have been miracles happening all week and and also not so great things but um people are stupid yeah oh, my god <laughs> people are stupid Thank i think we're coming to my church <laughs> Thank God. Oh, you didn't. I was talking to you, America. I was talking to you. So 
we um so I've been dealing with some stuff and like adjusting and all that you know nonsense life um where was I going with this Daisy what was it? okay oh so um I am a friend of mine owns a bakery and Stacy said something about just, you know, cause I was like, maybe she can get me a job and just for like extra money, things, stuff, stuff like that. And Stacy said, just don't give the cake away for free. I said, you can sell it, but don't just give it away for free. And, and I was like, I mean, and then it's she, a business. Said, she said, it's slang. I didn't hear that at all. And she goes, you didn't react. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. And she's like, it means cake. Cake means <laughs> down <Hey>. there <laughs> and, and I was like what like Rihanna she, song birthday like, cake birthday <laughs> cake I thought that was just about cake I thought Rihanna was like I'm a sick queen and I like cake live your best life Rihanna I mean first of all yes I am but cake the food is my favorite food <laughs> <laughs> cake the food cake the food <laughs> um so yeah so that happened a couple weeks ago so then uh marcus and hunter like to sing together because they hunter wants to sing harmonies because any any of us who like can get to the note and stay on the note we sing harmonies all the time he used to drive my brothers nuts um in the car they'd be like you know you can just sing the melody like one time and I'm like, but everyone else is already doing that but i'm singing the harmony because i can <laughs> she's been extra like. <laughs> oh yeah this, this is not trendy <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this is not trendy this is who i am <laughs> that's always oh, singing for that's who i am uh, do you, oh so okay so this, many? so this week I heard a song in a store. I'm not shopping normally ever. So like the fact that, and I, we're, we're officially that age where like the songs play and I'm like, oh yeah, that is like 13, 14. Like, That's why I love shopping at Kroger. Cause I promise every employee that comes in, they like pull a raffle and they're like, okay, we're putting your phone on shuffle. And cause it'll just be random stuff. Well, it's all satellite stuff now. Yeah. It's all like, you Fantastic. know. One time at Kroger, LaBouche, Be My Lover came out. I'm like, Kroger, I'll never leave you. <laughs> I love you, Kroger. <laughs> so a song came on in the store that I was like, I was like, oh my God, I haven't heard this since since I was in the, that age and um and I'm like oh my gosh of course now I can't think oh no it's called it's called I Need You by Leanne Rimes I know that one yes and so I started singing it and literally you watched all these girls go it's like a really good song but for whatever reason we've all forgotten it and um da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> yes it's so 90s and it's so ridiculous i only know but, it because it was played all the all time because i'm like i've never no wanted to sit through it myself and be like oh leanne rhymes that's my girl nothing wrong with her whatsoever but it was just played that much Ooh, what song did i hear on the way over here um lone star amazing that's another one right <laughs> <laughs> anything with like country undertones it just sticks to your soul yeah like so i sang that and then and then hunter came up and was like or no hunter wasn't there yet marcus was marcus was there and hunter hadn't arrived yet and i was like oh my gosh so i'm sitting behind my little table typing things in and Hun marcus is over at the table by himself and i turn to the manager and i go do you think i should like buy him a drink because he's by himself and she's like buy him a shot and then you have a shot and then you can you know do the shot together and it gives you an excuse to sit down next to him and I was like oh that nice that feels too smooth <laughs> <laughs> here's a shot ah, all over you so, <laughs> that's just that's that's the high the expectation's far too high for that um, so I, so I was like, okay. So then I'm like, well, I don't even know what he's drinking. Cause I like tequila. So like, if I pick a shot, I'm getting a tequila shot, but that usually makes everyone else sad. So Why? <laughs> because a lot of people have had bad experiences with tequila, That's fair. Um, myself included, but I still like yeah. tequila. So whatever. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's, it's my favorite hangover. <laughs> so, it's like one guy I was with, I was like, 
That is my favorite mistake. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite mistake. Oh, uh, she'll cry. Country. Is no. she country? No. She's no. like, she, she, she's like Lilith Fair. That was like Jewel, Sarah McLaughlin, Cheryl Crow. It was like girl power, but with like acoustic guitars. Hmm. Um, picture flower crowns. Also those. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I find out. So I, I go, okay. So my inner just like, I got this. I can find out what he's drinking. Done. So she comes back and goes, he's drinking straight vodka. And I was like, come on. One, I can't see damned vodka i have had so many bad experiences with chelsea the 22 year old drinking too much vodka i mean that i started drinking what was it my friend uh, what was her name paul his name <laughs> <laughs> so i was hanging out with my friend paul and his other random friend mary her name <laughs> <laughs> and so Mary like I just started drinking I just turned 21 yeah. I was like I don't know what to do and she's like oh like all you do is cranberry and vodka but you get the who is it not absolute vodka and you get mandarins so that's cranberry orange and I'm like oh so that's and like then it doesn't taste like it and you drink too much too and much so much and then you fall off people's edges of their condos first of all this is my birthday <laughs> second of all she worst, does her own stuff yes yeah. third of all the worst part was going to a party the following week and someone going batman's here and everyone going that was you and i'm like i don't know what here this is embarrassing <laughs> i had a bruise Zizz. Zizz. The, the worst part no the worst part is is the fact that <laughs> Stacey was so cool when she sat on the uh, on the landing. Because whenever I, we went to this friend's condo, I always like she sat was, up on the landing. But of it course, was I was up, always sober. It was an upstairs condo. So like you walk in the front door, you go up a flight, you go there's up like, like seven a, stairs, there's, there's, there's a landing, and then you go up more stairs, and then you're in the upstairs condo. So I sit on that ledge that's right there. So Constance. everyone's getting ready to leave to go down all the stairs, but I beat them because I fell back and she, like straight down. And she down. literally like leaned back like she was about to sit in a freaking lazy boy. Yes. And, just, and, and all of us were like, oh. Like, it was. It, my one friend started walking down and I beat her. And so then this other guy comes out. I remember he cradled me in his arms. She's like, say something. Say something. And I said, I do my own stuff. Yeah, no, she produced. Yes, it. I did. I do my own stuff. You said, it's cool. I do my own stuff. It's cool. I do my own stuff. Like, I should have been dead, honestly. Like, listen, listen. My skiing story, I should have also been dead. Man, anyway, so God. vodka. I don't drink vodka anymore. So I'm, I'm like, dang it. I mean, how extra am I if I like get two shots that are different, which in hindsight, I should have just done that. Why didn't you? Plus, are they clear most of the time? Yeah, but tequila's not. Like, when you, yeah, no, I could. But you're in a bar! Yeah, I know! <sighs> I really need to start showing I hear what things. you're saying. <laughs> I hear you. I hear what you're saying, but you know that's not what happened. <laughs> like, that America, you know that's not what happened. Right? Because I overthink it. Because the second I realize that I like somebody, I'm like, I'm gonna mess that up. <laughs> We're switch opposites because then someone likes me and I'm just like, who? <laughs> like, yeah, because then you're a jerk. You're hyper focused and I'm like, not at all. So I now the only the only saving grace is the fact that I am I'm working, so I have to walk away. Thank Ooh. goodness, because otherwise it would have just been just garbage coming out of my mouth at a rapid pace, like scaring him away. And then he wouldn't even sing harmonies with me. So oh, that's right. he that's hasn't amazing. sang harmonies with me yet. Not <gasps> yet. So I keep trying to get them to learn the opening song from Rent. <gasps> you know, because everything is Rent. I listen, I just, I had a very bad. She knows the song I'm talking about. Yes. Um, red, 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 cause everything is red. red. No, but no. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> okay, it? give me a second, cause I, it, cause everything is red. red. Or, 
and then the other one is because everything is red. Listen, someone has to fall out vocally because they're not as good. That's me, guys. <laughs> no, but that, so I, so I find, and I go, well, crap, I can't drink straight vodka. Knowing that because he drinks straight vodka, anything I mix in vodka, he is going to think is too sweet. And so I'm like, well, I'm the one buying the shot, so I don't care. Make it something I'm going to actually drink. So <laughs> neither of us enjoy this shot. That's what happens. I walk over, I'm like, <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Give a shot. And he's like, okay. And I was like, listen, you're by yourself. I really appreciate you sticking around because this week was slow. Last week was slammed. This week was slow. And I was like, it, th I appreciate you coming and staying. And he's like, oh yeah, uh, Hunter's going to be there soon. And I'm shocked. I haven't said the wrong names yet. <laughs> and and I'm like, no, of course, of course. But like, yeah, in the meantime, here. And I and then I have no chill and I'm the worst liar. So because I could have just been like, I bought these because they were unspecial or some lie, right? No, I go, um, I asked them what you were drinking and then you're drinking straight vodka and I can't do that. So that's what we're drinking now. We're doing these shots. That's exactly what I would have said. Like, listen, this is how this game's gonna work, buddy. And he's like, and he goes, what is it? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But I know there's vodka in it. There's a name to this game and I don't know it. So we're gonna find <laughs> cheers out together. and I hit the table, I do the shot. It is so sweet for even me. And he goes, Yeah, that was candy. Okay. And I was like, cool, cool. That yeah, it was, it was terrible. I definitely <laughs> didn't ask them to make it something I could actually eat drink. Um <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like, so <laughs> So I feel like this is my opportunity. I have like maybe like two minutes in this window to like before I have to go back up to the front. So, I, so I'm like, so, you know, like, are you going to come next week for the Halloween party? And he's like, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. And I was like, well, you should. It's going to be fun. I haven't told anybody there what my costume is yet. So um, <laughs> my mom keeps saying, are you sure it's ugly? <laughs> And I'm like, yes, it is. That's the point. Listen, you can either be pretty, and I was freaking gorgeous last year. What were you last year? I was Ariana Extra Grande. That's right. <laughs> yes. With the yes. With ten pounds of hair in my head. Yes. Uh, it was. It was. It was good look though. Um, it was super cute. I love. I like took some pictures and like tilted my face, and then people were like, "Holy crap, you kind of look like her." I was like, "You're welcome, makeup." That's what that is because I don't look like her at all. And, <laughs> and I had her little like concert costume on also with the giant hoodie when I was in, drink, like licking a lollipop with that picture where she's like, you know. Um, How old is she? 26. She, oh, she yeah. feels like a child, but that's because she's like 10 years younger than us, oh, <laughs> which is very much still in her. So I sit there and I was like, so are you coming? And then he's like, yeah, I don't know. And I was like, do you know what you're like gonna sing? Have you practiced any of those songs that I was like, maybe you could learn those and we could like sing harmonies and stuff? And he goes, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. And I was like, such a dude. <laughs> cool, so that's, this, this, this day is definitely worth like the $9 that I just spent. <laughs> so they like, talk to you awkwardly for like three minutes, keep my <laughs> And I, I legit went and sat down behind my little station and like, moved my chair. <laughs> I don't need to see that kind of negativity so in my was, life right now. Because I was like, I, 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 no, no, I can't because I dwell. I don't know if you guys have noticed that about me at all. Um, <laughs> well, both, sister. I, I dwell on the things um, that things stress that me dwell, out. They don't feel swell. And so because, because, listen, I must have not made you guys happy with my self-deprecating post. Sorry. We usually get a few legs. Would you stop? <laughs> also, it's Wednesday. We thought it was Fridays. Um, but anyway, so what happened? So I went back to my chair and then his friend showed up and then I was like, maybe I should bring his friend a shot just for the sake of like, then it's like, oh no, she was just doing that. And she's just, it wasn't awkward because she oh, thinks you're cute. Oh. And then I was like, yeah, that's another $9. Right? How about a budget? <laughs> and I was like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Completely agree. The, the best part of this whole story.
story is I need a girl's name. Um, I need a girl in my life. Mm, mm, mm. I need a girl in my, my life. life. Justina. <gasps> Justina. I just want you to be a baby. I just need to be a baby. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> for it i am so willingly. justina was the manager who who found out the drinks and everything and she goes she's like how did it go she comes out over afterwards and i was like well i'm over here and and i don't think it was i'm right. in the corner <laughs> oh sorry oh they sorry. played that song non-stop sorry it it's beginning to look a oh, lot no like... that too so let's not <laughs> Um, Let's not say we did. I'm a little <laughs> teapot, short and stout. Do you remember at band camp when I lost my field marker and they made me do the thing that I'm a little teapot and with like nine other people, but I was the only one who like plied when short happened and then everybody pointed and laughed at me. No, I didn't. <laughs> have like marching band this year i have so many they questions did. for they the, did the children they did um oh. they didn't have like away band camp though makes sense um but yeah they did but <laughs> so <laughs> you <laughs> would plie who <laughs> extra what? and that's how it's done <laughs> like i see you. it's just a short you know short and stout it was funny i don't know i had to eat spam <sighs> Yeah, I didn't do that. I let my brother do that. Yeah, him and I ate it together. Yeah, you're a good person. And I let my brother do it. <laughs> um, so true. That's a story for another day. Yeah, we're um, <laughs> So she comes up and uh, what was her name again? Just Justina. Justina. <laughs> Justina, not a finger. I just need to, yeah, Justina <laughs> to be my baby. <laughs> I'm your baby tonight. <laughs> um, she used to be your ringtone. It used to be one specific person. <laughs> <ringtone. laughs> Thanks for that, folks. <laughs> Were we talking about the other day? No, he's actually a carpenter. Oh, I thought he was a plumber. <laughs> Stacy <Susie> listens. <laughs> um, anyway. So, so Justina comes up to me, she's like, so, how'd it go? And I was like, oh, not well, but that's, you know, but it could be worse. And I have many stories where it went worse. So I didn't trip, I didn't spill it on them. Hey. I didn't, it made it to the table. We drank the shots and then I walked away taking the shots with the empty glasses because old school waitress just like cleaned the table. So <laughs> there was no proof this happened. <laughs> Get rid of the evidence. Um, and so she goes, oh, it didn't work. And I was like, yeah, I don't think so. I'm like, it's fine. It's, if, if it even had a semblance of working, then next week when I come to the bar dressed as the Tiger King is going to ruin it. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey there, fella, who's your lady? She's real exotic right there. That's my. That's, that's my girl with her mullet and her goatee. <laughs> That's the kind of love I want. Like, you see that crazy looking thing? All mine. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> and I'm into it. Right? Oh my gosh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so then she comes up, Justina comes up to me like an hour later and she goes, yeah, it doesn't seem like it worked. You would have like talked to you. But also guys are dumb and like don't realize that like that was me putting myself out there. And I mean, mind you, he also could just not be interested, and that's fine too. Like I, but also, or it could be like me and just not aware. Be not aware. That's a lot of guys. That's that's not just that's not just my best friend here. That's, hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey! My favorite is I'm like that guy likes you. She's like, ew, why? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, because you're I'm the worst. Because you're a good person. Like. <laughs> 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 oh, I swear, I swear. That guy likes you. Ew, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, Justina, this eight years later, we're going to tell you what Justina said. Gosh, we even got the harmony. Sorry. She's like, um, <laughs> she's like, she goes, I made the decision um, because it didn't work. I'm just going to, we're going to, the bar is going to cover those two shots. So I was like, Thank you. And she goes, but I want you to know you should still keep buying people drinks and trying to meet them. And I'm like, should I do it with the same person next week? And she goes, maybe try someone new. <laughs> maybe try someone new. 
<laughs> we just wear them down. <laughs> right? Like, what did I say like a couple weeks ago? You can't force someone to like you. Just talk. Hi, like Anne Marie. Thanks for checking us out. Hey. We love it. I love it. It's <laughs> such a thought. Like the beat gets you, then you're like, whoa, I yeah, don't you, like anything that's going on. Listen, in you listen to the words and you're like, someone cheated on you. You drove, you drove the car over a bridge and you don't have any feelings about it. This feels healthy. Uh, right? This feels like you're on drugs. <laughs> it also feels like you do care. Uh, right? <laughs> and you don't love it. Right? <laughs> I don't love it. Oxymoron. <laughs> 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 Wait, so are there harmonies? Oh, okay. So I haven't sung with him yet, but so I've been so his his friend Hunter, Hunter um Ding. has learned like six of the songs that I was like, oh, these are fun songs to sing together, like if you know it and da da da. And then he sang a couple other ones that I was like, uh, can I just sing a harmony on this while you're singing? And he's like, <laughs> and he's like I already have the microphone in my hand. Like, <laughs> Hunter, 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 can I, Hunter, can I sing with you? He's like, you're right next to me. <laughs> like, um, but so then, then the, the, the drama, the drama, he like, we're singing a song. I can't remember exactly what song because we sang a lot of songs. Whoa! You vocal whore. <laughs> Give him your harmony, <laughs> you slut. <laughs> he asked for it. So. <laughs> Protection. We have microphone condoms. You do. <laughs> so, um, so there was a point where we were singing a song together, and it was like a long note, and he like did a very grand gesture next to me because we're sitting down still for oh. safety and everything. Oh. So he did this grand gesture to me and it was a lot of eye contact. He gave me like, like a lot of eye contact. And then all of a sudden I was like, does he like me? And I like the other guy and are we in a love triangle right this very minute? Except it's not a triangle, it's a tent. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no box. There's no <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, why are you so funny? <laughs> why are you so funny? <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so he's saying this. I've created this entire thing in my mind, and then the end of the night comes, and I shut everything down, and they're the last two in the bar, and I was like, um, that and this other guy. I need a guy's name. Ah. Uh... Dorian. Dorian. Um, he's Scottish and he I can't uh, say that name with the Scottish. I was a Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> no, then you just become like a the, the mom from hairspray, the who's Har Harvey Weinstein. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, time with the me. <laughs> I gotta iron some clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so um Dorian is talking to um right. hunter and and marcus is just standing there and then we kind of had like a second of eye contact where i was like oh my god he's gonna ask me to like breakfast and he know he drove separate from his best friend so we can go get breakfast at ramshorn and i'm gonna be the delicate flower that i'm absolutely not and i'm gonna try and not use all the pepper in the place when we go get breakfast <laughs> <laughs> listen burger king did not give us ranch and I was highly upset because I thought I felt it in the bottom of the bag. I should have looked closer. And they also did not give me ketchup with my fries. And they only gave six nuggets instead. And we paid for 10. Yeah. Outrageous. Um, so outrageous. So, so I'm like, oh my God, is this it? Is this my moment? Is this, this is when he's like over the course of the whole night of drinking straight vodka. <laughs> And he's like proud he has a high tolerance and i'm like oh you're younger than me because like oh like, that's the funny thing because like i used to be like oh yeah it takes forever to get me 
to get drunk. And now I'm like, I'm going to have two whether I'm drunk or not, because that's it. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> listen, when I turned 21, and so then I call it like freshman remix because everyone had gotten partying out of their system and I was new to the game. So I remember because I was classy, I was wearing 40s. And so my cutoff point was two and a half 40s or 100 ounces of beer. So I'd be like, after 100 ounces of beer, I'm done. I just can't do anymore because I'm cool. But do you know, on the flip side of that, um, Ju Juliana, who's having the Hocus Pocus party, when she turned 19, we all, like her, her brothers, I had just come home from California. So I was, wow. at, like, so I was all like California skinny with like this side swept hairstyle that wasn't a thing here yet. And like, and I showed up and I turned and my brother came with me because my brother and his brother or brother are best friends. And like, and I know my ex-boyfriend's going to be there, but it was fine because I look cute. And I was like California tan and like, um, so it was great. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, Oh, is the timing bad on this? Should I not tell the story? Anyway, so I turn to my brother, Don, and I'm like, you cannot leave me alone with alcohol and an ex-boyfriend. That's a bad decision. So we get up into the hotel room. There is only, I just jumped stories. Anyway, he didn't talk to me. That's the point. That's for the bar story. He didn't talk to me. I built it up in my head and he didn't talk to me. So <laughs> well, on to something better. On to something terrible and awful. So we, so we're all like, oh my God, Canada, we haven't been here. Like we were 25. So we, I think, I think I stopped going to Canada when I was like 21. Honestly. I had one, I had one friend who was still 19. So I definitely went to Canada still when I was 21. Mm. Um, and then after I turned 22, I was like, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal because I'm not going over the border anymore. Hello. For those of you listening who don't have Canada right as a uh, easy access moment, um, like people who are like, have you ever been out of the country? I say no all the time because Ditto, I don't because, count Canada. Canada not that Canada's like, not amazing. Canada and is amazing. Canada is amazing. But we went there three times a week sometimes. Like, hey. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was only a driver for one of those evenings. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I knew what drink specials were at what bars. I knew where we were going to get wasted and then where we were going to dance. There was a high school reunion at Bentley's every time. Yeah, we didn't, that's why we didn't go to Bentley's. Smart. So we, <laughs> so um, we're walking around, we're having a good time. She's 19, we're getting wasted. We, we get up to the hotel room um, and they rented one hotel room for like nine people, which is so- Because 20s, <laughs> like just right. so 20s. That's why you hear that now, you're like, oh, and you cringe. Yeah, you're like, no, I want my own space. Right? I want my own towels. <laughs> like, and we walk in there and only one of the beds is made. And we're like, so I, they go, oh, well, we'll just, this is, this is 19 and 20 year olds. They go, oh, well, we'll just deal. And I was like, no, you will not. So I get on the phone and I go, hi, um, can you explain to me why this hotel room only has one made bed? And then rather than come make up the bed, they just gave them keys for another room. So now later, flash forward, we get wasted. We get hammered. My brother, who's supposed to stick by my side so that I don't have to make bad decisions, meets a girl at the bar and gets in a cab and drives away. <laughs> That's the worst decision. So, so mad. And I turned to his best friend and I was like, why are you not going with him? And he goes, oh, because I've got a girlfriend. And I was like, why are you not going with him? At the very least, there's a girl who's like, there are two girls and I know my brother. That's not how that's going to go. <laughs> and so one's going to cock block him and he's going to come back pissed. <laughs> and, and, and his friend, what's the guy's name? I need a guy's name. Um... Bartok. <laughs> okay. Bartok is like, <laughs> is like, oh yeah, that's true. And it's like, yeah, you just, you, that was your chance to be the, like, I'm going to, I'm going to distract, you know, what is it? The grenade? I don't know. I have or, no idea. Something like basically like between, okay. So I'm not being, this is how guys think this isn't me being me, like mean to myself, but like if Stacy and I were out, Stacy would be the hot skinny one and I would be the grenade. So that like some guy wanted to hit it on Stacy, little do they know who puts out. <laughs> <laughs> no cake for so you. So one guy, so one guy would fall on the grenade to have the chance with Stacy. So that basically I I would be the friend. Little do they know she's the friend who's like, we have to leave. They don't feel safe. <laughs> 
times and she'd go, oh, um, percent this is her. And my one is. friend would be like, she'd be like, oh my goodness, this guy like being fit, I'm coming home with him and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, probably because you told him you're going to go right. home with him and all this other stuff. So then she would push me towards them or push them towards me and be like, go with her. She's a slut. And I'm like, why, why do you do this? Hi, not a slut. Stacey. Um, I'm waiting until marriage. She's not interested. They're like, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They look at you like you're you're you smell bad or something, right? I'm just like I know I'm gorgeous. It's weird. So literally, so now I don't have access because we took my brother's car, so I can't even just go sit in the car. Oh. So we're on our way back to everybody's hotel room because all the bars are closed, and my brother is gone, and I'm like, at least I look cute because. But I remember being like, I wore those booties, those Michael Kors booties. You were obsessed with those, those black ones? Mm -hmm. I yes. Still have, I still have those. They're a good shoe. I know. I, I got them resold. <gasps> yeah. Brilliant. Worth it. They're so So classic. I wore those booties and then I wore black tights and I have this short jean, je uh, jean skirt on and then like a black tee and my cute California hair and my California tan. It was good. So. <laughs> so specific, but I, I mean, I don't know why I remember exactly right. what I was wearing. Like, but really? I do remember being annoyed that I, uh, okay, let's, but ugh, how much time do we have? Not much. Six minutes. Sorry, Dave. So, uh, <laughs> it's a good story. I should save this for next week. I don't know why. We I, can do a part two. It's not that long at this point. We can stop now. So we're walking. No, we're finishing this. <laughs> so, we walk. Finishing. <laughs> she did. <laughs> So we're walking back to the hotel and, and, um, uh, Bartok, bar, yes, the bar, friend. Bartok, wow, I really am killing it on the names today. Um, I need another guy's name. Bartok is walking and then his brother is, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Lucius, Lu that's accurate. Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> so Lucius is walking with us and they're like, it's okay, Chelsea, you can just stay in our room and like till we Wait, 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 who said this again? Sorry. Bartok and Lucius. Bartok and Lucius. Okay, because your brother's gone. Because my brother's gone and now they have two hotel rooms. So Juliana and all of her younger friends are gonna stay in the one room. Oh. And now it's just Bartok, oh. Lucius, and I in one hotel room. So I, because I am still trying to protect my carnal treasure. Yes, protect your carnal treasure. I am hammered because I was pissed at my brother. So I got Obviously. wasted because I was like, you're going to leave me here. I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> so, so attractive. So I, um, mm -hmm. so hmm. I am walking there. I distinctly remember being like, I just want to thank you guys for sharing a bed because then I don't have to share a bed. <laughs> <laughs> And look at you! I told you I tried really hard. I failed. But look at you! So then I'm impressed. Bartok, yes, was like he was like, oh okay, well no. And then Lucius was like, I mean, it's not like we haven't shared a bed before. <laughs> and I was like, damn it. So <laughs> so then. Um, you know, like you look really cute for the bar, but like you don't want to sleep in those clothes, which is yeah. why you pack pajamas. But we weren't supposed to stay pretty night. <laughs> and I and your girls, this is why I remember what it's wearing. Your girls wearing black tights, a short skirt, which is shorter than I would normally wear. That's a lie. And, <laughs> and um, which is a short jean skirt, a black t-shirt, and 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 black tights and I was like okay and then I'm like but now I'm tired and there's a bed and I don't want to wear tights to bed me and, neither and in my head I was like if you take those tights off game over it's done and I was like so I literally I literally got into the bed <laughs> with all of my clothes on <laughs> you're welcome dad but also stop <laughs> right, stop. right now stop. stop collaborate turn it off so just my dad though. Everybody else can hear. You know, right. you guys know I have sex. The jig is up. <laughs> you do <laughs> what? <laughs> the jig is up. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I lay in bed. I'm in bed for maybe 35 seconds before I throw a my feet are disgusting 
epic fit about the fact that I'm wearing tights right now. That's a, <laughs> I don't remember what episode that was, guys. I think it might be titled Singles Cruise. It, it, anyway, if you're if you're one of our stands, which we love you, um, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I throw this ridiculous, <laughs> this ridiculous fit. I throw the covers off. I've always been this way. <laughs> I throw the covers off and I go, oh, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> and, and then Bartok is like, take them off. <laughs> and I was like, you don't get it. <laughs> so I go, I go to the bathroom, I take the tights off, I get in, I get in bed and I'm like, you're staying over there. <laughs> Which works for about 45 seconds. Oh, I was gonna say minutes, it's crazy. No, definitely not minutes. Um, He was like, then we were spooning and he lived, our, you know, you know when you fit really, Really well, a spoon, and then it's like I spent a like, year in California, not really like ten months in California, with oh, no with with no access to any gentleman callers that were went well besides like the terrible ones, the guy on the beach, <laughs> they got married, <laughs> or the or all the food, but oh. <laughs> um. Jeez. So, so yeah, so we ended up fooling around. So now I want you to picture. <laughs> but the worst part is, is that it was like it was freaking college again because his father was in the other bed. <laughs> and so I looked at him and I was like, you're such an idiot. We should at least be in the bathroom. Like, give your brother a chance to sleep. <laughs> Go find your brother. <laughs> and so he's like... <laughs> So he's like, um, yeah, no, sorry, that wasn't really on my mind. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> Meanwhile, your brother is just who my, knows where. Yes. Well, the worst part is, is that he has to be at work at a certain time, and my Nokia block phone is not charged anymore. It was still charged, but it was on silent. Something happened. Um, and also, you're in a different country, technically. Right, so, so it doesn't actually wrong. work. Right. So that's yes. what it was. Yes. So then I was like, I woke up and I was like, I know that he's like going to try and figure out where we were on the, which hotel we were at, something. Like by this time, he has to be over it. And so <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get out of bed, I get dressed. I look at those Emmer effing tights. <laughs> and I was like, nope. So I get, I go downstairs and I am pacing in front of a hotel room, smoking a cigarette, <laughs> no tights, just all legs in broad ass daylight, looking like an actual hooker. <laughs> and then my brother pulls up and I go, what the matter time? And he was like, I'm not wearing my tights anymore and that's your fault. <laughs> And that's the story about how it's my brother's fault I relapsed. <laughs> I've never heard this one. Oh, really? I think it's because I'm like genuinely not proud of it. I was super, super excited. I like got dressed with the intention that I was going to, it was going to be like a eat your heart out moment and not an eat my out moment. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys if this episode uh made you laugh go ahead and give us like a five star rating i will on, <laughs> on itunes and tell your friends about us share the posts let them know like that's how people that's how people hear about our podcast that's how we inevitably um uh, make money doing this and that's what we want to do yeah um, so if you enjoy our stuff which we hope you do um <laughs> let, like tell your friends and maybe they'll enjoy it too yay uh, Thank you guys so much for, for listening to my stories and <laughs> listening to Stacey's reaction. I can't believe I've never told you that story. That's funny. This no. secret shame. Uh, <laughs> Listen, it just made us money. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hooker now? That would still be me. <laughs> but I'm in it with you. Oh, because you're single. <laughs> I was just gonna say because you're single. No. I'm like, dang. Sweet. Oh my gosh, I love how she assumes I'm gonna be mean, and then when I'm not, but then when I am, it's surprising. Right? <laughs> Let the beat drop. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just mean to myself. That's what's happening. So, <gasps> listen, thank you guys so much for listening. Yay. Episode 223. Hey. Tell your friends. Don't hey. tell my dad. Hey. <laughs>
and you know apologies to anybody who's related to me who's listening yay uh, that's stacy that's chelsea and this is reasons why i'm single we'll see you next week okay bye 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 bye, bye. I do go off first. I'm like,